It's one of the best gifts you could give, the gift of life. In honor of Donate Life Month, Forbes Hospital and the Center for Organ Recovery and Education are spreading awareness through a flag raising ceremony and personal experiences. KDKA's Brianna Smith shares a heart transplant recipient's miraculous story. Gregory Sayback says he would not be here today if it wasn't for his organ donor. At 39 years old, he found out he needed a heart transplant. It's kind of like having like a ton of bricks just dropped on you all of a sudden because you know, you're at the prime of your life basically and all of a sudden you have to dig yourself back out. After more than two tough years on the transplant waiting list, he finally had a match. He received his new heart in 2016 and a second chance at life. It was a total change of lifestyle because I was just barely hanging on to being fully functional like before, like, like I'm normal now, to where I things that I had to give up. I'm able to do again. Now he's sharing his journey and encouraging others to become donors at events like this one at Forbes Hospital. As the Donate Life flag is raised, we send an unmistakable sign of hope to the more than 100,000 people in the United States who continue to wait for a life saving transplant and also show our generous donor families our sincere gratitude. CORE SAYS THEY HAD A RECORD NUMBER OF ORGAN AND TISSUE DONORS LAST YEAR, SAVING 700 LIVES. AT THE ALLEGHANY HEALTH NETWORK, WE HAD OVER 40 ORGAN DONORS, AND THAT RESULTED IN 90 LIVES BEING CHANGED. CORE AND FORBES HOSPITAL ALSO HELPED HEAL HUNDREDS OF LIVES THROUGH TISSUE AND CORNEA DONATIONS. BUT THEY HOPE MORE PEOPLE REGISTER, BECAUSE MORE THAN 2,500 PEOPLE ARE WAITING FOR TRANSPLANTS IN WESTERN PENNSYLVANIA. One donor can save up to eight lives and improve more than 75 others. We have so many people on the waiting list. Their lives are really on hold, and they're looking for that second chance. And, and being a donor gives them that second chance. CORE says 20 people die each day without receiving a transplant, but they say you could help save a life. For more information on how to register, go to our website at kdk.com. Reporting in Monroeville, Brianna Smith, KDKA News.